Michael from Nortec Marine in Brayside. How are you going? Good, be yourself? I'm good. We're standing next to a boat that looks like a fiberglass boat, mm -hmm. but it's actually a little bit different. Absolutely, mate, for sure. We've made this boat out of a uh, special fibre called basalt. 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 As fiber. in the rock basalt. As in the rock basalt. It's actually uh, volcanic ash that is uh, highly furnaced at 3000 degrees into a little fine fibre and has all the abilities of fiberglass with a lot more strength. Really? Yeah, so it's pretty good stuff. It's um, been around since the 80s, actually. It's okay. only just making it to the boating industry now. I'm an old fiberglass mate, and let's face it, fiberglass has been around a long time doing a great job. What's so good about the new material? Sure, uh, it's, it's simply all the same qualities of fiberglass. So it has the same weight, it comes in the same fibres. It can be uh, woven in the same way. It can be applied with the same epoxies and resins. But it is the same strength as carbon fibre. Ah, oh, okay. So it, it, you can make a boat exactly the same, but now it's going to be a lot stronger in its application. Um, there's a whole lot of uh, green feel good about it because when you make fiberglass, there's a lot of chemicals go into it. Sure is. This is rock. Yeah, okay. This fibre here is just purely rock. How about that? So, and so it's, it's a natural material. Very natural material, absolutely. And how are we price-wise? Um, not that much more than your typical fiberglass. Looking about uh, 15 to 20 percent more than your standard fiberglass costing. So over the actual construction of a boat, by the time we take labour and moulding and all the rest of the, the costs involved, mm -hmm. it's not going to be a big difference to not go to something that's 10 times stronger. For sure, 10 times stronger and it's made from rock. Michael, we've had two boats out to the range for some fairly extensive ballistic testing. What happened? Yeah, well, uh, we wanted to test the uh, V19R, as always known to be a bulletproof boat. Yep. So we put it head to head on a firing range with our basalt boat. Right, and the results were? Well, a 4570 Magnum round was shot at both the uh, transoms. That's an elephant gun. That's huge. Nothing on this earth can stand it. Oof. Yeah, um, interesting results. The, uh, the V19R, the round penetrated straight through, straight into the inside of the boat, and we caught the projectile inside a sandbag. Yep, okay. This as one you here, would expect. As you expect. Because you're, you're, it's from fairly close range as well, obviously. Yeah, well, they, uh, they did it uh, less than 10 metres. Okay, so no pretty worries. Close. And what happened to the basalt? Same goes, the uh, projectile hit the back of the boat, it uh, pierced the first layer and bounced out. Not a single scarecrow damage Amazing. on the inside of the boat. So you can get shot at and you're still not going to sink. Pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good for a bloke like me. Well, the results to me are conclusive. From an old boat builder's point of view, fiberglass boat builder's point of view, we've got a material here that's 10 times stronger than traditional fiberglass, but the properties, we've got similar sort of weight, similar sort of construction techniques, not much more cost at all, but you can laminate it in mat, you can laminate it in rovings, we can use it in a chopper gun in a production facility, but again that strength, it is bulletproof, it's 10 times stronger and that's got to be good. 